the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. seen Cowboy Bebop is one of the best animes out there. Like, parallel to Studio Ghibli good. I put next to Studio Ghibli on my shelf, but all my Tezuka stuff is blocking it. More on Tezuka later. Cowboy Bebop is a 1998 anime series produced by the studio Sunshine, with a production cast featuring director Shinshiro Watanabe, screenwriter Keiko Nobumoto, character designer Toshiro Kawamoto, mechanical designer Kimitoshi Yamane, and composer Yoko Kano. You'll see why these guys are all intensely important in a minute. The show is set in the year 2071 and follows the misadventures of the crew of the starship Bebop. The great thing about the show is that they don't really tell you any of this. Why is that great? Because the creative team wanted it to be as though you're watching the show in the year 2071. Okay, so if you want a bit more in depth, in the future the solar system has been made accessible through hyperspace gates. In 2022, one of the first hyperspace gates exploded and took out most of the moon, which took out most of the Earth and the people on it. Those who survived fled to other planets in our system, like Mars and the moons of Jupiter. There are some people on Earth, but they're kind of weird. The crew of the Bebop are bounty hunters, traveling the solar system in an ongoing search for their next paycheck. Uh, listen, Jet. This guy's a major player in the Syndicate, operates all around the asteroids. You said bell peppers and beef. His name's Asimov Solenson. Are you listening to me? There's no beef in here. So you wouldn't really call it bell peppers and beef, now would you? Yes, I would. Well, it's not! It is when you're broke, all right? What happened to the million Wulong reward we got for that last guy? The repair bill for that cruiser you wrecked. And the one from that shop you trashed. And the medical bill from the cop you injured. Kill the dough! So there are five main characters in the show. First up is cool guy Spike Spiegel. He used to be a hitman for the Red Dragon Crime Syndicate, but left after getting into some jeep trouble that's full of epic spoilers. In addition to being a master of firearms and hand-to-hand -hand combat, Spike is also a wicked good pilot and flies a modified mono racer called the Swordfish 2. Jet Black used to work for the ISSP, the Inter-Solar System Police, as a detective. But he lost his right arm in a mob hit and retired to become a bounty hunter, becoming tired of all the red tape in the ISSP. He's the cool head in all this. The leader, really. Next up is Faye Valentine. Faye is a con artist who was cryogenically frozen after a space shuttle accident and woke up 54 years later. Don't ask her about it, though. She's got amnesia and some serious debt to pay off. Then there's Edward. This is the best. She's a girl, despite her androgynous appearance and name, and a wicked computer hacker. Her screen name is Radical Edward. And who could possibly forget Ayn? Ayn is a Pembroke Welsh Corgi who doubles as a data dog. What does that mean? Nobody knows! But Ayn is smarter than your average dog and Edward's best friend. Then, there's Vicious, enforcer of the Red Dragons and a rival of Spikes. Why? Well, that's something you have to find out for yourself! Cowboy Bebop is a fun ride across the universe that also has mature and thought-provoking episodes. I'd recommend this for teens and up, but I will warn you that some episodes contain nudity, so if you're that kind of parent, then hey, that's your call. But what I will tell you is that this is an anime that is not to be missed. Now, if you turn the tape over to side B, we'll get behind the scenes in the making of the episodes of Cowboy Bebop.